just amazing. I can't believe this is this will go down as one of the most incredible roads in all my cycling life. I'm shitting myself because I've mapped a route today that's well it's close to 200. I always get so nervous on big rides. I've done them before but I just get so nervous because I just <laughs> think I'm gonna die. Anyway let's do it. Richard. Hello. I'm shitting myself. Oh good, so am I. How are you? You, I know. you designed the map, what's going and on? I said before that I've done 200k rides before. I've done 250k rides yeah, before. I've yeah. done a 280k ride before. Yeah. It doesn't matter, I always get shit, shit scared. Anything oh. beyond 150, I'm all about that way. Anything beyond 150, I'm shit myself. Now Jess, it hasn't been raining, so can we go that double track? No, fuck off. Jess. No. Jess. You know that double track? No. Nah. It'll nah. be dry. No. Nah. It'll... Richard. Tom, as if we need to add half an hour onto our trip. No, I, I tend to agree. It's not... <laughs> it's not half an hour. <laughs> Windy. Let's talk about wind. I remember having this discussion with my seamanship uh, instructor at recruit school. Yeah. Saying, so, you know, we don't say we're travelling from the south. We'd say we're travelling north. So why do we say the wind is coming from where it's been? We should say it's go so. Here's the thing. I want from now on. From now on, we've got to say the wind's blowing in a northerly direction or from the south. That's I reckon everyone's had it wrong for a long time. Anyway, coffee. All right. It's fatty and salty. Yum. Quick break at, uh, where are we? Lethbridge. Lethbridge Public Hall. Um, anyway, it's going well. There is wind today, and we're going to be going into it for quite some time. But then we go to the top where Mount Mercer is, once we find it, and then we swing around. And we have a 50 kilometre downhill, and if the wind stays the same way, it'll be downhill with a tailwind. That'd be awesome. Ah. Okay. <laughs> About a 40k an hour cross, head cross. We're about to turn kind of north more which will mean it'll be not just cross but full head I love a head cross we're in the middle of wind country now our, our ride today takes us to Mount Mercer and there's only one thing that happens at Mount Mercer and that's, and that's wind farms There's bloody wind. Oh. <laughs> so Mount Mercer. 
is our furthest most point in our loop and the highest. It's only 400 meters. I reckon the wind's about 70k an hour now. Woo! rolling turns but your turn lasted 10k Richard you, uh, you knew you brought yeah. me along for a reason yeah didn't you? <laughs> see the size of that look on. it's like 100 kilos there but anyway that was that was Bamgani Road Bamgani Road mint mint if it wasn't blowing a 70 kilometer an hour headwind into us you didn't even blow then no, no you bullshit <laughs> Stop for photo time. See all those things? They're there for one reason because wind blows lots in this area and we're here. Look, I keep mentioning it because it is big, but but it's um we're gonna we're almost well we are. We're essentially the furthest north we need to go. Keep going west around Mount Mercer, which is that there beyond that tree, and then south like that and when we go south i hope this wind is still blowing that way <laughs> such a pretty road then a little bit of a gully down into that beautiful river crossing No vehicles out here. Fantastic. Past one earlier on. So we're the furthest north we need to go now. Now we start heading south into wind farm territory. So we've busted our chops into headwinds. Chops are busted. 120 k an hour headwinds. Yes. And now we're about to turn left. Yes. And you see those things there? When they point, the, the direction they're pointing, technique, science lesson, the direction they're pointing is generally the direction the wind's coming is it like a sail? from. And therefore, we're about to go that way. So the fact that those things are pointing that way, I think it's going to be a tailwind. We're paying it up front. Look at the grass moving. All right, look at these beautiful things. I love them. I love them. What are they called again? We made a big investment. Now we're going to get the rules. What are these things called? The wind thingies. Wind thingies. Wind thingies. Thirty-five k an hour. Woo! Just rolling. This starts a fifty-kilometer downhill. You know, I know I'm being a little bit generous, but it's a fifty-kilometer net loss. official Gumley Road in a southerly direction with a tailwind is possibly the greatest road on the planet. This is just crazy. We're rolling, freewheeling at about 60 kilometers an hour. I think the 90k slog was worth it, Jess. It's a good climb on the way up too. Yes, it was. For this? Totally. Was it worth the effort? I'm actually a little bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's warm, because otherwise it's cold. Yeah.
Are you sick of going downhill yet? No. Oh. I reckon we're about Ginger Maybe not quite here. halfway of the 50 kilometre downhill. Yeah, okay. But a long way into it. And uh, I know I've said it, but I'm actually a bit bored. Jess, has it been? The down or the... It's the down, the tailwind down. The oh. greatest the greatest downhill in the world ever, in the w world ever. All ever. right. You asked me how it's been. <laughs> I was, I've been expecting it oh, okay. all day. Oh, good. So, now that I'm actually living it, it's really sinking in. Yeah. My Ryber GPS gives me turn by turn and it tells you when the next turn's coming, how far. And it says 21 kilometers until the next turn. And the line just goes straight south. And currently the tailwind is blowing directly behind us. So we've still got another 21 kilometers at least of that. I saw this profile as I was mapping it. I actually mapped it the other way so that we were gonna be going in the reverse direction and then I realized that there was effectively a 50 kilometer uh, either uphill or downhill section depending on which way you went. Now what I mean by that is 50 kilometers where it's either a net loss or a net gain as Dave Olley always used to refer to it. And I just can't believe that this, we've just fluked it. A tailwind along with this, what is effectively a 50 kilometer downhill. And look, I'm just, I'm just, I'm seriously just freewheeling. We're freewheeling at like often 35, 38, 40k an hour. It's just amazing. I can't believe this is, this will go down as one of the most incredible roads in all my cycling life. It's actually getting quite warm. That thing up in there. On the last day. Another like, science lesson. It beams like down and sometimes it delivers more heat to you than others. Today is one of those days. Uh, sheep running across trying to enjoy their lives. We've uh, dethroned, delayed, not dethroned, <laughs> delayed, stripped a bit. It's getting warm, we all did it. Richard's taken one for the team. <laughs> Taking a delayer. <laughs> He's got the backpack on, so he's put a few jerseys in there. Just posing for a selfie. Um, anyway, beautiful road here. This is another, this is another uh, secret little road. I can't tell. Inverley is that way, in about 10k, and there's a bakery. Bakery. <laughs> there is, and I reckon yours is the best. Like, then? like a, I don't know, like a Mario Brothers or, you know, some sort of computer game. Because well. It was fun, it was like puddles and... Within five seconds you were a kilometre down the road. A kilometre? Yes. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to actually cut the mist down here, get off, and enjoy the view. Mm. Yeah, okay. Where are we? In Valais. In Valais. We made it to In Valais, mm -hmm. which is by my clock. About 150. Rich is going to smash that. <laughs> Certainly, yeah. Rich bought half the shop. Orange juice. It's been cracking. It's like it's been a really good ride. I think both Rich and I have both started to feel at 20k back. Someone absolutely towed us up through that. Did you see that? Through that, it wasn't even double tracked. No. No, it, it was, was less than double tracked. It was, it was, know, it was grass. Was. Did you get it on the video? Yeah. yeah. It was a like just a, 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 a grass sort of a pressed down grass and old mate old love over here just towed us up kilometer up the road she was 
Anyway, we'll smash down some food and then we'll get out of here. Made it out of Inverlee. Got about 40k to go. And there is a couple of lumps in, in the way. But the wind is in our favour, so let's hope. It is a nice bonus section. I like to uh, keep my guests happy. Lovely little river view. Well, about 20k to go. That's most of the big climbing just then. Um, I mean, when I say that, like the, there's still climbs to go, but Barable Road or whatever it's called. What's this called, this road? Barable Road. Goes all the way into Highton, into Geelong. Highton, it's a bit like Brighton. Oh, I've done all of Brighton. Highton. These two don't know it yet, but I've still got a special stage yet snuck in. Anyway, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably spent already, but it's only 20k. That's less than an hour, at worst. River Geelong, which means we're about 5k from home less. About 192, which means according to my numbers, it'll be about 195 by the end. Uh, well, it was great company was great out was windy and hilly and back was mostly downhill and tailwind big day in the saddle final words epic ride fantastic that was awesome yes loved it we've got one more hill to go where the muir de leather oh the bloody little leather street hill that's tiny anyway Thanks for watching. Bye.